Why did you eat that? Why did you do that? Why are you watching pornographic? What is an addiction? All I can say is that if you think you don't have parasites, you're really, really not even being ignorant. You're being foolish. These are mind controlling parasites and they are powerful. <laughs> How about your body's heaven when you have these creatures or demons and they're going to make you do things that you don't want to. And okay, so if you didn't have those, what do you think would be? I think you'd be better off. Okay, so how about your body's your church and if your church is dirty, full of heavy metals, plastics, insecticides, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and it's dry, it doesn't have enough water because it's a water machine. And it's breathing crummy air and getting crummy light and all the other things. What do you think happens to you? And you eat flesh, I'm just telling you guys, if you don't think so, you're just being foolish. You get these different parasites. Remember, you eat the hamburger, it's all processed foods, processed foods. And the category three parasite is the one that breaks down processed foods. And what is it? It's this. Class one is what? Simplest parasite and everybody's got it. Skin and poor parasites. Yes, you do. Okay, we're gonna show you a really important video series. And this is gonna be the beginning series of what's called the classes of parasites. And this is so important okay for everybody to learn nobody knows parasites they don't teach it is because it could be the key to sickness what is a parasite is it a warm-blooded animal it's cold-blooded it lives inside your warm body and it loves you and it ain't leaving you unless you follow the protocols and which ones are those they want to keep themselves very happy in their house so they're going to control you in every way possible once they colonize enough parasite an organism that lives in or on another organism its host and benefits by deriving nutrients at the host's expense they're going to control you to be lazy and they're going to control you to be tired all i can say is that if you think you don't have parasites you're really really not even being ignorant you're being foolish and we're going to show you my light experiment in a sec because this is how you make sure that these creatures can't live inside you what i'm going to show you remember is your addictions these are your perversions. These things inside make you not think clear. Why did you eat that? Why did you do that? Why are you watching pornographic? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why do you have an addiction? It's something that you do and you have no control to stop. Drying yourself out will only make sense to do when you get sick or when you see. Why? Intermittent fasting and block fasting. What is this thing? Is that real or is that CGI? This is real. Look at the teeth on that thing. Is it an alien creature? It's alien to your body. It's not supposed to be there, okay? Do you think it gives you anything? It just steals, steals energy. And not only that, okay? But it poops inside you, causing you to become confused. And your supercomputer here malfunctions because as above now can't service so below. And this is what you're doing. You're drying out the poop, okay? So how about your body's your church, and if your church is dirty, full of heavy metals, plastics, insecticides, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, and it's dry, it doesn't have enough water because it's a water machine. And it's breathing crummy air and getting crummy light and all the other things, what do you think happens to you? When you have a parasitic infection, you become a parasite on the planet, you become a parasite on your relationships, you become a parasite on yourself. Class one is what? Simplest parasite, and everybody's got it. Skin. And poor parasites. Yes, you do. You don't need to. Look at this creature. Microscopic. You could have 500 in one hair pore. And why do people lose their hair? They don't kill the poor. They don't eat it. They just eat the oil. But they poop in it. What do you think a pimple is? That's Mount Vesuvius. That's pus. That's creatures. Category two. Okay, body fat. They won't kill you. You're going to have to serve them, though. You're hungry all the bloody time. Hungry. You can't see them. They're microscopic, but you can see people walking around. WTF, mate. Whoa, that's a lot of work to manage that. So what do you do? You learn. Say, what do I do? Eh, piece of cake. That's an easy one. Stop the sugar. Eh. And the category three parasite is the one that breaks down processed foods. And what is it? It's this. It's the guy, I won't say woman, the guy that's eight months pregnant and he's skinny. Legs, skinny arms, but he's got a belly on him that sticks out. This is the Ascaris lumbricoides. These are the creatures. Check those out, Carlos. Look at those snakes. It's because these parasites are very powerful mind controlling. Mad cow's disease. All these different types of things. Remember, you feed a cow meat or flesh and it gets parasites in its brain because it's an herbivore. All the chickens need to have antibiotics. Why? Because they're sitting in chicken poop all bloody day. You got 
people that you see that are vegetarians and vegans, and you know why? They haven't got rid of the class four and above parasites, and they've got the blood-sucking ones still sucking them dry. The blood-sucking ones, as we'll go over, ain't leaving you. You can go vegetarian, vegan, schmegan, whatever it is. They're in you now. They love you. And they're suckling. Blood. That's why you see people going back to meat. I know. You think Dracula's still sucking your blood. Everybody needs to get a steam distilled water machine and drink a gallon a day. Remember, you drink water, you, you pee through your skin. This is how it works. You give your kidneys a break. Distilled water breaks down oxalate poisoning and oxalate poisoning is the house for all these critters. Arthritis in your fingers is a, is a parasite. You ever notice you eat a big meal? What do you want to do? Go to sleep. Why? It's because everybody fed and they pooped inside you. That's the poop you feel immediately. It's the poop. These creatures are microscopically small and also up to 50 feet long. Whoa, what a creature. This is just a hookworm. Look at the teeth on this thing. Okay, is that real? Yeah, that's a real picture, real magnification. And remember, they're tiny, little dudes this big. So let's increase the power, the conductivity. Remember, it's parables that are gonna help you. So this is why a lot of people go, I don't wanna see the parasites. You need to. You need to see these creatures. And guess what lives inside you? What lives inside you? If you can't look at it, doesn't want you to see. Remember, these are very smart creatures. And I had a vegan girlfriend and she says, you wuss, why don't you just quit and go ahead and give it a try? And I went through three days where the shakes, man, I'm like a heroin addict, not having my flesh. Okay, and then after that, yeah, I was okay. Just like first three days when you're water fasting, a little weird, but it's easier after that. Okay, there we go. We're gonna cut it off. We got the, the chocolonas. All right, aloha. <laughs> aloha.